Hi, this is CJ Romberger. I'm with Wildwood Interactive. We're a full service web agency. Today, I'm going to show you a little trick about how you can get all of these link locations. See all these different tabs that I have open. Probably, I think I, I counted 27 tabs open right now. I want all those link locations copied into something else. I don't want to lose track of them. And I don't want to go through and individual bookmark each one, individually bookmark each one, and I don't want to go through and copy each one of the locations. So Firefox has a cool built-in function that will help me capture this easily. And then, and so I'll show you how I'm going to clean up the tab mess. And then in the next presentation I create, I'm going to show you how to get all of those back. And we'll talk about why you might want to do that. So, so first we're going to do cleanup. I'm going to go to Tools, Options. And there's a home page box right here. And what I can do is I can click this Use Current Pages button. And when I do that, it fills the entire box with all of the links that I have up here on top. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to triple click that information and I'm going to right click and choose copy. When I do that, it puts it in my Windows, keep, uh, Windows clipboard. Now I don't want to set those as my new home page, so I'm going to cancel out of this dialog box now that I'm done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Word over here and I'm going to paste with control V all of that information into my Word document. And there's a little character in between each one of these links and it's a pipe character and that I'm going to replace that character with a paragraph mark so that I can more easily paste this into a spreadsheet. So the next step here is to go ahead and choose replace which is over on the right hand side and I'm going to replace that pipe character with the paragraph characters and this special code is a is called a caret and the the caret is above the six and then the p obviously is just one of our letters and i'm going to go ahead and say replace all made 29 replacements i'm going to close this window and now you can see all of the links nicely laid out now i usually kind of go through and i say well i don't really need this one and i don't really need this one and obviously i don't need a blank so just do a real quick visual cleanup, and I don't need my home page. And so all of these are here. They're nice and clean. I'm pretty sure I want to keep all these. So now I'm going to go over here and say select all. And then, of course, I'm going to copy those. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to a Google Doc I've created called Tab Sickness. And as you see them at the bottom, I have 444 rows, and that's just a whole different conversation about why I have kept so many tabs. And you'll notice that I can't scroll my mouse down to get another row here, but there's this handy little plus sign down here. And all I really have to do is add one row at the bottom in order to get the capability of pasting all those, those uh, links I have. So now what I do is I come over here to the next cell. And actually first I type the date in so that I know when I did this. And then I do control V and that pastes everything. See, there's all the links that I had. So that part is done. The next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of all of these tabs. And one way that I can do this is by just obviously closing my browser. The other way that I can do this is an interesting little trick too, where I can just go to a blank, I can go to any tab, it doesn't matter. And all I have to do is say close all the other tabs. It says, hey, you're going to close 29 tabs. I say, yep, that's what I want to do. And they're all going to close down. And then if I had uh, a desire for my home page again, all I have to do is push home, and now I have a nice, clean tab set up. So I save those tabs, and I use those. You know, I, ever since I started on Twitter, I find myself constantly opening up lots of tabs. So when I want to close my browser down, this is a nice way to hang on to all of those. And then I can use them later for resources or look at them when I have some time. Thanks for listening. This is CJ Romberger. I'm with Wildwood Interactive. And if this was interesting to you, I hope you'll check out the next one, which is how to get all those tabs back open.